The other name that we keep hearing a lot about is Karis LeVert. Um, uh, multiple people keep saying, you know, the Cavs are, are talking to them. Is that a, a guy that makes sense at some form or fashion? Yeah, I mean, you, you lost Colin Sexton, obviously. So there goes your leading scorer um, who just happens to be a shooting guard. Well, Karis LeVert is a, is a shooting guard who has proven that he can fill it up. He, he did that all last season with Indiana when he's healthy. Um, he's had some health issues, obviously. Um, but this year, he's still scoring 15 points a game. He has kind of taken a step back willingly uh, because the Pacers are kind of focusing on their young rookies and Duarte, Chris Duarte, and Isaiah Jackson. So, you know, Lavert's numbers aren't as great. Would it make sense for the Cavs? Again, perhaps. Uh, you know, Karis Lavert's not a guy who's going to dominate the basketball. Uh, he's a slasher. He can he can score. Uh, there, he has the potential to go for 30 points every night. So um, that again is something that that Kobe Altman certainly will explore. They're not going to the Cavs certainly aren't going to mortgage the farm. They're not going to break up uh, what's working here. You know, the, all five starters. I would say that the only person that they would consider uh, trading would be Isaac Okoro, who all of a sudden has really started playing well during this winning streak. So I think you're just at the, you know, exploratory stage, seeing what the Pacers are looking for, seeing if a deal makes sense. And uh, I know the Cavs for certain have to be thinking about what's going to become of Colin Sexton. He's going to be a restricted free agent this summer. He's not going to, you know, presumably not going to play in another game this year because of the knee injury. So, you kind of got to figure out a way to cover yourself moving forward. And I know that they would like to take another step. You know, they're the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference. They'd like to contend for the Eastern Conference title because nobody saw this coming. So why not go out and get another guy that, that can help you toward that end? Is that Lavert? It's, it's hard to say. I don't think that the Cavs want to give up as much as some other teams would for, the, for Karis Lavert. But again, you make the call and you see – if it's somebody who's going to be able to help you out personally, I think that the Cavs will make a move, but I think it'll be at a much lower level. Uh, somebody like Terrence Ross from the Orlando Magic is available. Veteran guy who comes off the bench, a pro's pro, can get you 15 to 20 points off the bench a game, and uh, you hardly notice he's there. And I, I think that's more the type of player uh, that the Cavs will have an interest in as the February 10th trade deadline approaches. You think it's um, a, a deal is more likely closer to that trade deadline just because there's a sense of urgency with everybody involved? Yeah, absolutely. I, I don't, you know, right now they have no reason to make a trade. Everything's working. You know, they want to mess with a good thing. So um, that I think they'll revisit, you know, in February, late January and February and see how things are going. And if they're still going like this, which – you think if everybody's healthy, there's no reason they won't be. Uh, so there's no reason to, to tinker with a lineup that and, and mess with chemistry that has really been, uh, you know, above what they were expecting, what anybody was expecting. So, yeah, if they do make a deal, I suspect it will be, you know, close to two months from now uh, when they have a sense of what the big picture actually can be.